Welcome back to Dee Dee's Mediterranean Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a homeless hors d'oeuvre or appetizer that you can serve if you have friends who you know just call you up and said, hey, we're coming over and you want to serve them something special. Or if you're having a full-on dinner, this is a great appetizer for parties. It's really easy to make. It's part of my Mediterranean Americana new series of videos. And you can get this recipe and all of my other recipes at www.ddmed.com. And remember to join my social network if you have any questions or you want to chat with me. I'm always available. So what we're going to start off with um, are some ingredients that you can buy at your local grocery store. If you're in a hurry, in a rush, and you just want to get something put together real fast, it's really easy to make. What I have here is pie crust. I have some pie crust that was left over in the freezer that I'm going to use. You can also buy pie crust ready made in your grocery freezer aisle. I'm also using, I usually use my own hummus that I make at home, but I don't have any and I'm in a hurry, so I like to buy wild garden hummus. It has a cumin flavor to it. It's really good. It's really refreshing, and I really like this brand of hummus. I know there's a whole bunch out there, um, but I prefer this brand. And you can find it at any of your local grocery stores. I also have some flour to roll it out. I have some black olives, some paprika, and a little bit of parsley for garnish. Now, you're also going to need a little mini um, muffin pan. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to roll out the pie crust, make little cr individual crusts, and then we're going to stuff it with the hummus. Um, so you can also find this at your local grocery store. I picked it up from the one around the corner. You don't have to go to a fancy schmancy place. Really easy to find. What we're going to start off with is we're going to roll out our pie crust. Make sure you flour your board. If you want, you can use a knife to cut out the circles, or you can get um, a little uh, cutter, a round cutter. Here's my pie crust. Make sure it's well floured. Just like that. Put it out. Flour your roller. And you want to roll it out pretty thin. I would say probably a, a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch. Roll it out. Take your time. your pie crust. You can cut out little circles with a little cutter or with a knife. They don't have to be perfect in shape. You just want to cut out about two inches in diameter. So I'm going to cut some other ones out. It doesn't really matter because you are going to shape it with your hand when you put it into the pan. just like that. I'll do one more and then I'll show you how we put them in the pan. Just like that. Get your pan. I'm going to move this over. Get the pan. And you're going to lay it over and just slowly form the sides. It's like you're making a little mini pie. Just like that. They don't have to be perfect in shape. And do another one. One's a little bigger. The good thing about pie crust is that you can mend it together, you can cut it apart. You just want to form little pie crusts to hold your homeless appetizers. 
after you do this, you want to preheat your oven to about 350 to 400 degrees, and you want to cook these for about 10 minutes. Keep your eye on them. Sometimes they brown a little sooner. So 10 minutes in the oven, and then we'll pull them out, and we're going to let them cool, and then we're going to stuff them with the hummus and the olives. So here we have our little pastries. And you can use either a fork or a knife to take them out. You want to put them on a plate. See how they're nice, nice brown color. And let them cool completely before we stuff them with the hummus. And see how they have a little hole in there, a little pocket just waiting to be stuffed. So I'm going to let these cool and then we're going to stuff them and garnish them really pretty. So our pie crusts have cooled completely. You can actually hold them and you can see how cute they are. They are really true and they are one bite so you don't have to make a mess or anything like that. So I have my hummus and I actually put it in a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, it's not a big deal. What you can do is you can get a sandwich bag, cut a really small hole in the corner and then just open it up and then stuff it with your hummus and you can pipe it out that way. If you don't even like piping, get a small spoon and slowly with your finger put in some hummus. So I'm going to pipe this in just like that to each one. Your friends are honestly going to be so impressed with this. Because it's different than, you know, the regular old hummus and pita bread. You know, everybody serves it that way. This is something different and very elegant. So just like that, I'm going to put a little black olive just in the top for color, just like that. You want to make food pretty as well as tasteful so that people enjoy eating with their eyes as well as their mouths. I'm going to get a little bit of the paprika or cayenne pepper, whichever one you like, to sprinkle it around on the hummus, just like that. They're very little tasteful bites. You're going to probably want to make a lot because I'm sure that your friends are going to love them. And get a little piece of parsley and just stick it in the side like that. You can use parsley or mint. If you prefer mint, you can use mint. These are so cute. I just can't get over it. My friends love them when they come over. They eat so much of them they forget that there's actually going to be a dinner served. If you're having friends over to watch a movie or you know have something very light, these are great for it as well. Look at that. These are your little hummus hors d'oeuvres and appetizers. Try them out. Join me again for Didi's Mediterranean Kitchen.